Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Have you ever wanted to synchronize two rides but their stations weren't next to each other so you couldn't do it? Fear no more, as with the Open RCT2 mod this suddenly becomes possible. The first thing that you need to do is actually get the mod. I have linked the download page in the description. It should be easy enough to find the right version, but if you have any problems feel free to join my Discord server, which is also linked in the description, and ask for help on there. Here you can see two coasters, a shuttle loop and the pre-built junior coaster called Mango Muncher. If I enable synchronized stations on both rides, nothing happens as their stations are not next to each other. If we want to solve this problem, we're going to need a handy tool called the Tile Inspector. To get access to the Tile Inspector, you need to go to the options, go to the tab with the two gears and enable the Cheats toolbar, which will then appear on the top left of your screen as a green shovel. I've had some people tell me that the shovel is yellow, but I think it's green. Anyway, if you click and hold on the green shovel, you get a few options. One of which is the tile inspector, which you want to select. Now a blue window pops up, which is the tile inspector. You can do a lot of different things with this tool and I urge you to learn more about it as there are some really useful tricks you can do with it. Before we can do anything, we need to select an element on a tile. In this case, we want to click on the first tile of the station of the shuttle loop. You can see two elements, the surface and the station. You now want to click on the station and then click on copy. This allows us to get a copy of this track piece anywhere else on the map. What you now want to do is select one of the two tiles next to the first station piece of the junior coaster and click on paste. As you can see, we now have a copy of the first station tile of the shuttle loop. For synchronization, the stations need to be at the same height, so you need to raise the element which you can do with this button. We now need to do the same with the first station piece of the junior coaster. If you hold control while you click on an element, like the station of the junior coaster, you will automatically select that element. Now we can copy this, paste it next to the first station piece of the shuttle loop and lower it down to the ground level. Since these extra station tiles are copies of the original stations, the game sees them as the same station, which means that the game now thinks that the stations are next to each other. If we enable synchronization with adjacent stations on both rides, you can see that they now indeed synchronize without their stations being next to each other. If you want to hide these extra station pieces so that you can convince your friend that this works without any tricks, you can simply hold control and click on the station piece that you want to hide and press this button, which adds a corrupt element above the selected element and makes it invisible. You can also do this with more than two stations. If you want three stations to all synchronize with each other, you need to put the first station tiles of both coasters next to the first station tile of the third coaster, like this. And that's everything there is to it. It's a quick and easy trick that you can use to make more interesting and varied dueling coasters. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.